What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another Elder E Monk Reactions. My name is Eric, and today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. Uh, something popped up in my feed that I'm like, I have to check this out. And even though we listen to a lot of metal, there's something we don't listen to a whole lot of on this channel, and that's power metal. <laughs> but when Dragon Force releases a song about the Legend of Zelda, the Legend of Zelda, guys, I have to check it out, right? I don't have a whole lot of history listening to Dragon Force, obviously through the Fire and Flames. I know it in and out because Guitar Hero 3 back in the day, but I'm excited to check this out. So this is Dragon Force with the song Power of the Triforce. See the legend rising from the gates of time now, oh, feel the magic of the night. The legend rising from the gates of time, let's go. Get ready for some high vocals. We need a hero in the magical land of Hyrule. <laughs> yes. oh. Herman leaves the go. The overworld. I'm gonna call out everything he says. So I'm sorry. The Twilight Prince is one of my favorites. Who's that? <laughs> my, my, the singer kind of looks like Legolas. Which is kind of fitting because it feels a little bit more Lord of the Rings <laughs> from the visuals. Come on, Herman, get that Master Sword out. Over lakes and mountains. And Pona. This is so much fun. Got the Eye of Sauron here with like a an orc. For the glory of the Master Sword, let's go. At least they have some pots in there. Oh shit, what kind of guitar is that? A headless two neck guitar? Cool solo, but they have to add a little bit of the Zelda theme in here, right? Somewhere. Oh, that was cool looking. Power metal is just, it's something. Use that treble little bar, dude. Shoot the tie! See our arrows fly! Got his last defeat! The wire work here is. Kind of get like that Link Ganon kind of vibe with them fighting. All right, so that was a Dragon Force with the song Power of the Triforce. Let's talk about it. I mean, listen, this isn't typically what I listen to, but whenever a band, you know, mixes their style with video games, especially a video game that I hold as dear to my heart as The Legend of Zelda, I am in. 
and I had a blast with this. I was smiling during the entire song. All of the lyrics that had to do with The Legend of Zelda, talking about the chests, talking about the Master Sword, talking about, you know, Link's epic battles against evil, all that. I ate all of that up. That was perfect. The visuals in this was crazy. Um, obviously, they couldn't, you know, use any of the Zelda, um, Legend of Zelda, like, iconic iconography is that is that the word that you use like the green tunic and like the triforce and stuff like that because <laughs> if we know anything about nintendo they would come down hard on them so i absolutely get that um but i still think there was a missed opportunity to add a little bit of the zelda music flair into the song i mean the zelda music is so iconic and obviously they can't rip it off one for one but what they can do is add little nods here and there. And I didn't hear any. I may have missed one. You can let me know. But I didn't hear anything. Even if it was one of like the Ocarina songs. Even if it was just the Legend of Zelda theme. Where you just do kind of like a quick fill going into like just something that gave you kind of that Zelda vibe. But it's fine. I get it. A lot of bands have done it. Maybe they're like they've done it let's do our own thing and i respect them for that this was a lot of fun let me know what you guys thought about dragon force power of the triforce i had a blast with it um and yeah more zelda songs please thank you guys for watching again to this video i'll see you next time